Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to deploy a static website on S3 bucket. And while keeping our S3 bucket private, we will use the CloudFront to host and reach globally, like provide the global reachability for our website. CloudFront offers you much more controllability from point security point of view. And also uh, like you can implement the firewall and other things of while using the CloudFront as well, okay? So that's why we are going to use it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to sh uh, share you a couple of points which will be really helpful uh, for you if you want. You are using CloudFront with the S3 bucket, so uh, you don't have to look for a more solution if you encounter any particular error. So, so let's jump right in. So I'm going to create a bucket, okay? So you can uh, just go to AWS and search for S3. I think this is very basic. So I'm going to name it. Sort of Hargo static. Okay. Let's say static. Okay. And uh, okay. So I'm block all public access. I want to keep my S3 bucket private. Okay. Versioning enabled. I don't uh, need this yet. And you can add the text depending upon if you are using it for any particular environment. Okay. I'm continuing with the service side in, uh, encryption with uh, Amazon S3. So this key can be found in uh, KMS. Okay. So I've created the bucket. Okay. So now what I will do is I will upload a file here. I have already created an index uh, dot HTML and a CSS. Uh, there, these are two files which have, which will help me identify if my like server is working fine or not. Okay. If my website is deployed or not. Okay? So I will up click on upload, add files, and these are the two files that I'm going to upload: index and style. Okay. Click open, upload done okay now we will move to our next step uh, you need to go to cloudfront just uh, go to your aws and uh, go to cloudfront and click on distributions okay you can see uh, all the details here you have to go to distributions click on create distribution and choose your s3 bucket so this will be my s3 bucket now here on the origin path you can define the path if you have any particular folder inside which uh, you want you have your all the files okay so for example if i say production here then in my s3 bucket the cloud front will look for the production uh, folder and inside it it will try to fetch this file okay so because i am in uh, like root directory so i will i don't need this one and uh, like there's option if you want to continue with public s3 bucket but i don't and i want to use this option which is origin access control setting so in this setting we will restrict bucket access so bucket will be private and only the cloud front will be able to access the bucket content okay so i will create it okay so it's done and it's saying uh, you must update the bucket policy which we will do okay and the rest i will continue with the uh, default setting i want this uh, redirect http to https so this is a more of a security settings and i highly recommend you use this and for the cache and everything i'm continuing with all the default settings and you can configure the firewall from here as well okay? so for now i don't need this so i'm continuing with no and another option that you can find here is add custom domain for example if you have your custom domain uh like sort of bhargav.xyz.com so you can add it here and you can generate a certificate from here as well okay as you can see i already have asm so if i want to continue, like use any custom domain here i am easily able to do it okay so i've uh, given it uh, like full uh, subdomain access so it will be easily do it okay okay so uh it's saying what's the default root object and which will be index.html for me okay so i will create distribution and i need to copy this policy and go to my sc bucket okay go to permissions scroll down and add the policy here you only need to copy and paste that nothing more just click on save changes And as you can see, the bucket is still private, but we have given the CloudFront CloudFront access to the S3 bucket content. Okay, so you can see, uh, like I have given all the objects inside this bucket. Okay, and it's allow for the CloudFront. Okay. Now this is done. We will wait for some time, and let's see. Uh, like it uh, generally take about one to two minutes for the deployment. Okay. Okay. Until then, I want to uh, mention a couple of things. So. 
one thing was uh, setting up the prefixes which i already covered how you can uh, like point it to the root directory and if you want to restrict the geo uh, locations for example i only want it to be uh, like applicable to india and usa okay so that can be done from here as well okay and i can enable the like web and the origin part we can configure it from here as well okay like if you want to modify anything for example you uh, created a folder and now you want to move it inside it so that can be done from here okay you can add the custom headers as well so i will uh, like dive deep on this one on like future videos but not for now uh, invalidation is a uh, really helpful if you want to like clear the edge locations cache for example i'm in india and someone tried to access my website on usa in that case uh, my uh, like static website content is saved on usa edge location so from uh like create validation i can clear all the cache in all edge locations okay i just need to click create validation and it will take like 10 to 20 seconds and after that uh like my cache will be clear okay. so it's still deploying uh it might will take some time but uh, until then let's go to this and this is our url and this is our url and as you can see this is deployed okay so that's how you can deploy your any a static website using cloudfront and s3 securely if you want to add more uh filtration more security uh implementations that can be done from here as well okay i hope you guys found this video helpful if so you can like this video and subscribe to my channel to uh like get ready for more of uh, such aws and cloud content so that's all for this video guys thank you